this is from the last video. There was a few questions about what are you driving? Is it a Jeep? No, it's not a Jeep. It's a BMW M5. Almost 600 pounds of horsepower. A lot of style, a lot of room, a lot of class. That's how I get down. So this is what I am driving. This is the Hustle Mobile. What's going on, people? Today, we're going to talk about fighting in the proper weight class. Some of you are trying to fight in the heavyweight division weighing a buck 50. That ain't going to work. That ain't going to work. If this is your first time here, this is Glennon Cameron, your hustling godfather. And I want you to be successful. I want you to start a successful business, put some money in your pocket, and be living a good life. Now, how do we do that? First of all, come to this channel, go to the front of the channel, and sort through the videos, and start watching all of the business videos. Get this free knowledge. Get the free 99. So let's talk about your fighting weight. Evander Holyfield, he fought in two weight classes. And I think he fought in the welterweight and the heavyweight. Correct me if I'm wrong. But let's talk about why there are weight classes. You don't want some heavyweight in the ring with a welterweight or a, a light. You, you don't want that because the smaller person is going to get killed if you're dealing with a professional fighter. And the same thing happens with business classes. You've got many people out here who weigh a buck oh five, but they're trying to fight in the heavyweight division. You know, I want to be a millionaire. You, you want to be a millionaire. You have these millionaire dreams before you made your first dollar. You made your first, you haven't made your first dollar, but you, you're thinking of millions. You are trying to transcend classes before you're ready. You got to get in the gym. You got to lift some weights. You got to run. You got to eat. You got to get bigger. And this is one of the biggest issues with the internet because there are so many success stories because of the internet of hustler Johnny Z coming on and he's fighting in the heavyweight battles he's, he's got titles he's got the belt but do you know what crew hustler Johnny Z's background is there, this is something else there was this one guy and I'm not going to mention names he blew up come to find out that his uncle is Frank Kern. And Frank Kern taught this boy all kinds. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. And the, you know, the whole thing was put out like he just did this. He was a nobody. And when you have access to people like Frank Kern, that is an amazing asset. That is an amazing thing. And, you know, we're looking at all of these people who weigh a buck oh five trying to get in the heavyweight division. And they're looking at stories like this. And they're like, yeah. Because one of the things that keeps people being from being successful is the concept of there's an easy way. Like, there's this conversation that you don't have to work hard. You have to work strategic. And just the thought, just that conversation prevents people from putting in the hard work that they need to put in to be successful. Just the mere thought of that, I don't have to work hard, I can work strategic, or uh, I was having this conversation on Facebook with someone who who apparently knows a lot of heavyweight fighters. You know, they're millionaires, they've got these businesses, they're home by 530, and I'm like, I know people like that too, but everybody that I know in the beginning, they were at home by 5.30. They were in the gym. They were eating. They were on the running. They were running track. They were doing what they needed to do. So 
So many of you are trying to fight in the heavyweight division before you work your way up the lighter classes. It is amazing. Cause you know, if I was to say you weighed a buck oh five and you took up boxing, and I would say you were supposed to get in the ring with Godzilla, who's like six foot four, 275 and cut, you would be like, that's ridiculous. I'm not getting in the ring with that monster. But mentally, you think you could get in the, the, the business class, the heavyweight class is a business just like that. I mean, it, it, it's once you really think about it, because most of you are in the buck 50 weight class. That's where you are. That's where you, you need to start. And instead of like, I'm gonna make a million dollars, you should be thinking, how do I make my first dollar in business? How do I get my first lightweight fight? How do I train and prepare for this lightweight class? And then once you get good in the lightweight classes, once you begin start knocking people out in the lightweight, then you move up to the middleweights. Then you, you, you do everything you did to be successful in the lightweights. You go, you go to the training table, you eat, you work out, you get more muscle, you get more weight. Then next thing you know, you're ready for the heavyweights. But so many people don't want to take the time. <coughs> So many people don't want to take the time to work their way up. We live in a microwave society where everyone thinks of instant success, instant this, instant that. You know, it's Monday and Friday, I'm going to be fighting in the heavyweight division, bringing home the gold belt. It ain't, it ain't happening, bro. It ain't happening. So what do you got to do to work your way up the classes. You gotta train, baby. You gotta work hard. Now, what is training for business heavyweight classes? You're going to become very good at these two things. And this is gonna be your left hook and it's gonna be your right hook. Sales and marketing. Your left hook and your right hook. Those are gonna be your power punches. And the better that you learn how to sell, and the better that you learn how to market, oh man, that's heavyweight. Because the best heavyweight fighters in the business classes know how to sell and they know how to put together a marketing funnel and a sales funnel. And this this is something that, you know, whenever you talk about this, a lot of people go to sleep. You know, they, they don't really want to learn about the proper things that it takes to be successful. They don't want to, because that stuff, it ain't sexy. Being in the gym ain't sexy. Running at 4.30 in the morning ain't sexy. It ain't sexy, but it's required to become sexy. There was this girl years and years ago worked out at uh, this Gold's Gym off Camp Creek Parkway and she was something special. She was an Amazon. She was about 5 foot 10, 6 foot and stacked. And when she would lift weights, she would moan. So sexy. And this she was sexy and she was getting in sexier with each set. Once again, you got, you know, working out, eating right, doing the right things. That ain't sexy. But it can make you sexy. It can give you the result of sexy. Watching webinars, reading books, taking online courses. It ain't sexy. It ain't sexy. You, you're spending money. You're spending time. But it can make you sexy. It can make you that sexy heavyweight fighter in the business class. It can make you sexy after the end of the fight, you sitting there with your fist raised because you won. 
make you sexy. Getting sexy ain't sexy. Let me say that again. Getting sexy ain't sexy. Takes time, effort, work, and discipline. And there's so many of you who feel that you can snap your fingers and you can get sexy. And you can get, but you ain't getting no results. So that's why you're so frustrated because we got folks who are in the buck 50 class trying to go heavyweight before they learn how to conquer the middleweights. This is one of the issues that I see all day long online. I'm in this group, Click Funnels, and there's a bunch of brand new people in this group. Ain't never made their first dollar online. You know what? Let me give you a process of what help you work. Let's say you've never made any money online and you, you, you're a buck 50. Get yourself an eBay account. Get yourself an Amazon account. And spend two to three years selling on those accounts. It ain't sexy. It ain't. But it'll make you sexy because you will learn so much. You will learn how to go get product. You will learn what sells. You will learn what doesn't sell. And this, these are the easiest ways to make money online. Selling on eBay, Amazon, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, Offer Up. Easiest way to make money online. And once you get good with that, then you create your own website. And this is gonna get you to the middle ways because anybody can create a website. Anyone can have a website built, but it takes marketing, that left hook, and sales ability, that right hook, to get people to that website. And then it takes the sales ability to convert a website visitor to a paying customer. So once you do that, two or three years, and look, you spent four to six years in the you know lightweight, middleweight, now you can go heavyweight and you've been making good money the whole time. Because once again, it's a process that you must become a student of the process. It is part of the game that you must train. You must train properly. You must eat properly. You must use the right workouts for whatever you're trying to do, wherever you're trying to be. Because you got folks out here who are trying to fight in the heavyweight class, the millionaire class, and they haven't even conquered the lightweights. You gotta conquer the lightweights, then the middleweights, and then the heavyweights. And how do I know? Bef this is what I did. Before I started my business, I got myself three jobs that taught me, one, the first job taught me how to sell. The second job taught me how to set up a company. The third job taught me how to market. Then I got my own business, and what did I do? I started selling on eBay, Amazon, and Craigslist. I spent my time in the lightweight division. Then I moved to the middleweights. And I was in the middleweights for almost 10 years, duking it out, winning battle after battle. Then I got to the heavyweights where I formed my own website and then I had to train properly, had to get up in the morning, work out, and know where to go to get traffic to that website, which was YouTube. It's a process. And you got you can't cheat the process because you got a lot of folks who feel that they can skip over stuff. Like if you're amazingly talented and you have a great personality, you can blow up on YouTube very easily. But everybody ain't that special. Everybody ain't that special. You gotta work at it, player. You gotta put it together. So don't try to get into the heavyweight division before you conquered the lightweight divisions. Because this is one of the biggest issues that happens with so many people 
is that they will attempt to move up in weight classes before they are ready. You'll get somebody that comes up from the lightweight class and they'll try to go in the heavyweight class and get knocked, slap out in the first round because they don't know what they're doing. They're not physically ready for the rigors of the heavyweights. And th th you, this is what business will do. I've seen it. So many people start a website, start a YouTube channel, start a Facebook, and they have no preparation. They have no training. And once again, if you want to make money online, start into something simple and work your way up. Like right now, one of the biggest things you see of all these kids in high school who are slamming it home on Shopify. But once the thing, I've, I watched the videos. A lot of these kids will spend money for a professional trainer. They will spend money on their training. They will spend money on their food. They will spend money, good Lord. They will spend money to get better. I mean, this one guy, he, he had a Shopify store and you know he had bought some training. He had made $4,000. Did he take that $4,000 and put it in his pocket? No, he took that $4,000 and got more Shopify education. They paid their dues. They went from the lightweights to the middleweights to the heavyweights because they worked hard. They put in the hours. They were not playing around. They were working so hard. They were doing what they needed to do. They were preparing themselves to be more successful because they were training. They were putting together their, their whole scheme. So once again, Stop trying to fight in the wrong weight class. That's not going to be your recipe for long-term success. It's not going to be your recipe for immediate success. Fighting in the wrong weight class. You're just going to get knocked out, player. You're going to have... What was his, uh, what was his name? You got knocked out from Friday. You're going to have Smokey standing over. You got knocked out, man. You got knocked out. So if you want to eat at the proper training table, you want to have the right training routines, go to the front of the channel, sort through the videos, and start watching the business content. Get the free 99. This is Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather. I will see you guys in the next video.